G'day everyone, welcome back to Wombat Gaming, this is Starlord, I'm bringing you another episode of Bannerlord, and today we are going to cover creating our own kingdom. Uh, so yeah, so stay tuned, we're going to show you how to do that. I'm currently in, an, um, I'm basically in an alliance already uh, with the Western Empire, but I'm going to leave that kingdom, and um, which I'll actually do now, so I'm going to relinquish my all the holdings, so I'm not at war with them. So I essentially am going to, basically what we've been waiting for is for a city to be in rebellion so we can take the city and we can start our kingdom so we do need a city to do this uh, now this city is in Batania culture and you can see here that the I failed a bunch of requests that's fine and uh, but you can see the clan is a uh, re rebels so they're not assigned, not linked to anyone in the in the basically the whole scheme of things so if I attack this one city I'm not going to offend anybody else if that makes sense so uh, also uh, bear in mind that the prosperity is dropping and food stocks are quite low so uh, bear that in mind as well but um, being a different culture to us I am of empire culture the Batania will have to um, I guess be yeah be governed by somebody else to try and fix that so um, If you have a look at um, Jolos, his uh, culture is empire, so uh, he's not going to be able to. But I have this guy called, um, let's go back to my list here. Um, there you go, I didn't realize I actually didn't even realize these two were in my party. <laughs> They're both dead. Anyway, I do have some people in my party um, in particular. Just trying to find him. It's not showing up here for some reason. Oh, there he is. He is there. Okay, so this guy here is a companion of mine. Yorig the Lucky. He is of Sturgia, so that's not going to help me. Uh, I do need a Batanian person. So when I take this castle, I'm going to probably have to try and find a Batanian. Let's have a look and see if I've got anybody else in here that may be... No, Asahi. Um, my wife, she's Empire. Just making sure, and Khan's not, she's from the Kazoo. Um, who else have I got in here? These are all brothers, these are all... Anybody else check at the Swift? Nope. Alright, so it's not... Could bring... Uh... Alright, this person here back um, to manage. It doesn't have anything great, unfortunately. Been using her as a warrior. But it's good to know. So, let's recall... Her to the party and we'll put her in charge so all right she is leading a party which we'll have to disband um, it's a bit of a shame because she's got quite a few troops but we're gonna we could swap her out with somebody else actually and rather than lose that um, He's my engineer at the moment, so... Yeah, we're thinking maybe to swap her out. Uh, maybe with Yawn, okay. Um, it'll take one day. Okay, that's fine. So... Uh, should be on her way back to me now. Now this... Um, my army is quite... It's all maxed out, pretty much. I've got a few... Prisoners in hand. I've also got some troops that are ready to upgrade if I need them. So we are going to see whether we can take this city. What well, we got? 350 defenders. I think that sh should be manageable. Uh, we need to first attack one of their. We need to go to war with this person. So we need to attack this person so we're asking them to surrender or die yep. and we'll send the troops in quickly get that done all right yeah we don't want any of the peasants so let's take that garbage all right so now we are at war uh we've got a red 
up here and we can hopefully that 50 doesn't go in there let's, uh, let's besiege the city they did go in there which is a shame but that's alright um, alright we're going to besiege the city and we don't want to like the problem we don't want to besiege it for too long well we could I guess we could starve them out but um, let's just see if we can get the city lot easier if we down the walls although then we'll have to fix the walls up unfortunately that would probably be the only problem with that I'm just gonna move them back into I don't think their defences are that good. Troop is rebel armies don't be using militia and untrained troops generally, so... So it's a toss up here whether we just demolish the walls then we will have to fix them again um, or we take the walls down and make it easier for our troops to get in I guess. Um, well we lost a couple of those so what we're going to do is we are going to put them in the reserve and lay them all out at the same time. I think that might work a little bit better. And now because I left the Empire too, I just noticed my troop numbers that I'm allowed to carry decreased dramatically and I'm losing troops at the moment, which is not <laughs> too good. Um, Let's um, get this going. Lost oh, that very quickly. Maybe we'll just Well, their siege is, is giving us a little bit of a challenge at the moment. I, th I think uh, we're getting on top of it now, which is good. Alright. And we've almost taken down one of their walls. to grow the troop numbers so high we're getting it's gonna be a bit of a challenge all right so one of the troops is all well, is down we will um, Just 
just build these two ballistas. Numbers are a bit better now. We're probably starving them out a little bit at the moment, which is good. I think we're almost ready. Oh, we've got a save. All right, after this save, we're going to go on in. I think we're pretty even on well on numbers. My troops are more powerful, so let's uh, lead the assault and go on in and just see if we can take our first city. Uh, and then proclaim ourselves a, a, a an empire. So it basically allows us to then. All right. Um, so let's have a look here. Um, I deploy. This. few people in charge of certain things. Um, 2%, I want more than 2%. I'm going to take probably about that much with me. All right. So the walls are down. You can see here that in the castle now.
trying to run back to the keep, I think, so... is done we managed to only lose uh, two troops so quite an outstanding victory really um, they lost a lot of troops which is good managed 20 kills myself um, yeah all right so we now can send the troops I only got 24 let's um send them in Let's just take these guys as prisoners, and we will take the troops for the moment because we're going to put them into our own garrison, and we will be over for a few minutes. So it's a little trick um, to do. We do have sixty-one troops we can upgrade as well, which we'll go ahead and do in a minute. I'm, really, I'm not sure whether this is two hundred prisoners. I'm not sure whether I should take all these prisoners. Um, hmm. We're going to upgrade pretty much all of these guys. Leave me room for about that many, so... It's going to... Alright, you're going to show mercy. And we're going to manage the town. First of all, we're going to manage the garrison because we don't have any troops in here at all. It's only giving us 12. We do. We are over for by about well, nearly 50 troops. So what we'll do is we'll go to the bottom and get rid of. Bring our numbers up a little bit. We've got in a dungeon only this person, so let's put them all in a dungeon for the moment. So we still have a number of 65 uh, Imperial troops we can upgrade. Let's have a look at. Uh, trade oh, we we'll have to manage okay so all right, we're getting a little bit sidetracked here what we want to do is we want to decline that marriage offer we want to declare ourselves um, a kingdom so this little tab down here in the bottom if you can see um, is yeah down the bottom left you can see is I know to be clicked on so you need to be in a kingdom so what we need to do is we need to manage the town and we need to place a governor in there so the governor we wanted to put in there he's probably still on our way to our party it was going to be this person here I know so let's try that again oh there we go okay so um, doesn't have a lot of skills, but we, we are minus eight loyalty at the moment. So by putting her in charge, we, we only got one loyalty more. So that's interesting. I thought we would have been a little bit better, the loyalty. So we need to now reset everything here because we... What are we low in? We have... They're starving, so... We can go to the town center and you can see they've got no food, so we... Probably, um, hoping we'd have some food. Let's give them some food. And that should fix that problem straight away. Yeah, I'm hoping. Um, okay, we just need to reset a leasing. So we, fortifications managed to stay at three, which was good and uh we just need to reset some of this stuff because we don't really need a re workshop right now but we do need food production to increase we're on food production three at the two at the moment so 
We really need to keep an eye on this town. This is this is the catch. We've got to keep an eye on this one right now. We don't want to drop too much loyalty. Uh, we will keep a really close eye on it. Food's going to bring us back up, I think. Food shortage. So that's going to increase things dramatically. And our prosperity is probably the big one at the moment. So let's keep it on prosperity. Yeah, it's not going to make a big difference, these two. Um, just seeing what, what's going to make a difference here. We'll keep it on just that for a little bit. And, alright, so now we have to leave the city. We have, as you can see, installed a governor. But you can't access her in the keep area. Oh, well, sometimes you can't. Looks like we can this time, so... I'm not sure my relationship is so bad with her for but okay, so we're gonna to talk to I'm her. Yours to command. And we are going to take the top option. So it's time to take a monumental step. It is time to proclaim a new kingdom. Um how are things doing here in Doug Langley's? Uh, things are right, my lord. The merchants say they are breaking even. For the most part, some prices are high, but most people need is available. All right, well, here we go. We're going to take the top option. And now we have a couple of options here to either go with the Empire in regards to laws. So the, the Empire's laws, uh, Kingdom are Imperial laws, which would institute a, a Senate. Um, the other one is Britannia. Britannian law would institute the following Catons and law speakers. So, um, yeah, but we're going to go with the Empire this time. Um, so, and we get to name it. So, to be fitting of the, uh, oops, what have I done? We're going to go Jel, Jelos Kingdom. And here we go. We have just created the kingdom, our first city. And some of our party members are standing around the table. We're working out what we're going to do next. So a monumental moment for the kingdom and our clan. All right. So there we go, guys. So that's essentially now we just need to manage this and keep it going so uh, guys if you are enjoying the videos um, and the channel I uh, will be doing more Bannerlord as we go uh, through the year and yeah so please like the video and subscribe if you are enjoying this so um, yeah look forward to seeing on the next video but we are going to continue on today as well so um, we are going to start working on getting this our, our, our city basically up and running and then um, start to develop you know uh, lots of lots of things along the way so I guess that will be kept what's coming next so that was just a pure and simple uh, explanation of how to do this and yeah I'll see you on the next video thanks guys